Two unmistakable trends that developed during the nine years I've been freelancing for the Detroit News. Circulation of the paper has dropped every year, while website visits have exploded. The recent announcement of the News and Free Press that their future lies online, along with a similar decision reached by the Christian Science Monitor, demonstrates how the journalism industry is transforming itself and taking the paper out of newspaper. I may not be happy about the changes, but the writing is on the web. Digital is the wave of the future. You can either surf the wave or have it crash over you. Two of my graduates have shown me that you can accomplish by embracing the future and riding that wave. Both earned journalism and public relations degrees and are now working in jobs that didn't exist a few years ago. Alan Pinion found a job as a photojournalist when he graduated a few years ago. He moved to Delaware and settled in as a staff photographer. Times change, and so did his job. Alan now serves as a multimedia editor for the newspaper. He takes more than pictures. He creates and edits stories that integrate video, audio, and graphics, and posts those efforts online. Shannon Paul graduated last year and was working for a public relations firm in the area. Her specialty? New media, MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, and a variety of other digital communication tools. She turned that expertise into a position with the Detroit Red Wings, and now serves as a social media coordinator for the hockey team. I would love to say these students learned those skills in my classroom. They didn't. They learned those skills on the job and experimenting online. As educators, we need to prepare our students for the digital future. That's why I'm applying for the NEH Distinguished Professor position. This website serves as my application. Take a look around, click on the links, and if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email or call me. Thank you very much.